Do it yourself. Simple skills, big results. How does the brake vacuum hose connect to the brake booster? Have you ever wondered how your vehicle's brake system makes it easier to stop? One key component is the brake vacuum hose, which connects to the brake booster. Let's break down how this connection works and why it matters for your car's braking performance. The brake vacuum hose is a flexible tube that plays a vital role in the brake assist system. It connects the brake booster to a vacuum source on the engine, usually the intake manifold. This connection helps reduce the effort needed to apply the brakes, making your driving experience smoother and safer. First, let's locate the brake booster. It is typically a round, black component mounted on the firewall right behind the master cylinder. Inside the booster, there is a diaphragm that uses vacuum pressure to amplify the force you apply to the brake pedal. Now, let's talk about the vacuum hose itself. One end of this hose fits snugly onto the vacuum port on the brake booster. This port is usually located on the side or rear of the booster. Make sure to push the hose on firmly for a tight seal. Sometimes, a hose clamp is used to secure the connection and prevent any vacuum leaks. The other end of the vacuum hose connects to a vacuum source on the engine. This is often the intake manifold or a dedicated vacuum poured on the carburetor or throttle body. Just like the connection at the brake booster, this end should also be tight and secure to maintain proper function. Many brake vacuum hoses include a check valve near the booster connection. This valve allows vacuum to flow into the booster while preventing air from flowing back toward the engine. This is important because it helps maintain vacuum pressure when the engine is off or under load. If your hose has a check valve, make sure it is installed in the correct orientation, usually indicated by an arrow showing the vacuum flow direction toward the booster. When replacing or connecting the brake vacuum hose, it is essential to inspect it for any cracks, holes, or brittleness. A damaged hose can lead to a loss of vacuum, resulting in a hard brake pedal and reduced braking assistance. Pay attention to the routing of the hose as well. It should be carefully routed to avoid sharp bends, kinks, or contact with hot engine parts. This will help prevent damage and ensure the hose lasts longer. In a practical DIY brake repair, replacing or reconnecting the brake vacuum hose involves a few straightforward steps. Start by removing the old hose, which may require loosening clamps or simply pulling it off the ports. Next, inspect the brake booster vacuum port and the engine vacuum source for any debris or damage. When installing a new hose, make sure it is the correct diameter and length. A secure fit on both ends is crucial. If your hose has a check valve, verify that it is functioning properly and replace it if necessary. Finally, test the system by starting the engine and pressing the brake pedal. This will confirm that you have proper brake assist. Connecting the brake vacuum hose to the brake booster is a simple yet essential task for maintaining your vehicle's braking performance. By ensuring a proper connection, you help the brake booster receive the vacuum it needs, making it easier to apply the brakes with less effort.